Amid long COVID testing lines, doctors say hospitals are treating more kids with COVID-19 now than ever. I mean, we've had more kids in the hospital with COVID over these last couple of weeks than we have at any other point during the pandemic that I can recall. Dr. Jim Conway with UW Health reporting similar situations seen nationwide. Monday, New York health officials reported a 395% increase in hospitalizations in kids over the past two weeks. Milwaukee County's chief health policy advisor, Dr. Ben Weston, tweeting New York is getting hit harder with COVID than any other state, adding your state is not far behind. Do you worry uh, what's happening in New York could be what's to come for Wisconsin? Yeah, I do quite a bit. You know, we're already at pretty tight capacity in most of our hospitals, including Children's Hospital has been, you know, fuller than it's been for months. Dr. Conway says the spike is likely due to COVID and cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome in kids, or MISC, a condition that can follow a positive COVID test one to two months later. What we see in kids is this phenomenon where they get through the COVID part of it without much trouble, and then their immune system, essentially, as it fights off the COVID, um, virus just overdoes it. It's not clear if Omicron is to blame for hospitalizations, but doctors worry more cases will overload hospital staff. You know, if you add in either a, a flu outbreak on top of this, or if Omicron actually does cause more significant disease in kids, you know, we could really, really be stretched even further than we already are. And Ben, doctors say that most of these kids, just like adults in the hospital, weren't vaccinated. Right, Adrian. In New York, nearly all of the kids that were admitted uh, were not vaccinated. Dr. Conway says that we're seeing a similar thing here, that most of kids that are admitted to hospitals are not fully vaccinated. Right now, state data shows that the state's 5 to 11-year-old age group, right around 14% of those kids are fully vaccinated. Right, and the state's youngest kids still not eligible for the vaccine. Ben Wagner reporting live.